All right, so good afternoon and thank you very much for uh, introducing me. Uh, so uh, my name is Purnima. Uh, I'm working as a uh, research scholar, uh, casual academic and uh, final year of my uh, PhD candidate in Flinders University in the College of Science and Engineering. I'm also working as a lecturer in the uh, University of Adelaide College uh, and my research interest in the uh, developing data mining and machine learning technique to solve real world challenges, including uh, health section. Okay. All right, so welcome uh, everyone to my presentation. Today I'll present uh, a part of my PhD work. The topic of my presentation is optimized association rule mining for health data. <clears throat> The outline uh, of the presentation is as follows. In the introduction and background part, the concept and terminologies behind this research is discussed. Uh, and the research going on determining techniques on different domain spaces will also be discussed. Research gaps are for discussing the gaps or opportunities found in this research. And the project aim will discuss the aims defined in this research. In the methodology, I will discuss the process flow structure of the project. In results section, the results found uh, from this research will be discussed. In the conclusion and future work, I'll explain the conclusion and future directions of the project. All right, so what is knowledge discovery basically? So as we know that a massive amount of data is growing day by day. So it is really necessary to make uh, the data useful by extracting meaningful information from that data. Otherwise, data will be valueless. So knowledge discovery, the process to extract meaningful information from that data. In that case, why medical knowledge discovery? So medical knowledge discovery will extract useful medical information to utilize that on diagnosing disease or maybe defining treatment against a disease. For example, analyzing gene network, relationship among genes and proteins in the human body that can be identified to get the influencing genes which may create the genetic diseases. So these are the steps involved in medical knowledge discovery process. Initially, raw medical or health data will be collected. Data can be collected from online databases or from medical center or somewhere else. Uh, so data comes from the database are not basically formatted for applying them into the model because uh, they come with missing values and noises. So uh, data needs to be pre-processed to utilize them for the research. Next, uh, this pre-processed data will be transformed according to the requirements of the model because different model has the different requirements. So it should be prepared uh, according to the requirements. After that, the main and sensitive task of the knowledge discovery process is employing the data mining technique. In the next step, the generated results will produce knowledge, which should be assessed by the domain expert or if any uh, validation technique can be employed to the validation. <laughs> so these are the characteristics of medical and health data. Well, uh, sensitivity, that is medical and health data are highly sensitive uh, due to their intimate nature and the potential impact on individuals' privacy. They often contain personal information such as patient demographic, medical history, diagnosis, treatment, and test results. Well, this sensitivity necessitates stringent security measurement and strict adherence to the privacy regulation. Complexity. So medical and health data can be uh, complex involving a wide range of variables and parameters. They encompasses uh, diverse data types, including textual records, images, laboratory results, uh, genetic data, sensor readings, and many more things. Well, analyzing and interpreting such uh, diverse data sources that require specialized tools and expertise. Volume and variety. So medical and health data, they are generated at an 
enormous scale and exhibit significant variety. So like electronic health record, medical imaging file, clinical trials data, wearable data and health monitoring systems that contributes to the best volume and variety of health data. So handling and managing such large amount of data that necessitates scalable storage and processing solutions. Heterogeneity, so health data often originates from different sources, including hospitals, clinical libraries, uh, wearable devices and research studies. So each source may adopt a different data standard, format, and coding system, making the interoperability and the data integration pretty much challenging. Well, achieving data harmonization and standardization is crucial for effective analysis and exchange of health information. Longitudinality, so medical and health data often span over a person's uh, lifetime encompassing various episodes of care, intervention, uh, and health events. So longitudinal uh, data provides valuable insights into disease progression, treatment outcomes, and patient outcomes over different times. It allows for monitoring and evaluating the effectiveness of intervention and identifying patterns of record. Uh, now, timeline. So the uh, availability of real or near real-time data is increasingly important in healthcare. Immediate access to uh, Accurate and up to date health information is crucial uh, for clinical decision making, emergency response, public health surveillance, and epidemiological studies. Well, uh, timeline facilitates early detection to outbreaks, monitoring of health indicators, and prompt intervention. Ethical and legal considerations. Medical and health data are subject to various ethical and legal considerations, privacy regulations such as health insurance, uh, portability and accountability act uh, in the United States that governments the collection, use and sharing of health data to protect individuals privacy and confidentiality. So ethical uh, principles like uh, informed consent and data anonymization uh, guide the responsible use of health data for research purposes. Raw medical data comes with noise and missing values. So to prepare those data for design model effectively so that no important information we lose or no redundant values added in the result is pretty much challenging. Moreover, uh, human body structure is very much complex. So to work with uh, human sample data and to understand uh, that data accurately is much more challenging as well. In addition, uh, applying data mining technique on medical and health data is challenging because if the result produces wrong information, then it causes big trouble. Clustering, classification, and association rule mining are three popular data mining techniques utilized in different domain spaces. While classification is supervised learning technique where the class level is known. Classification is used to predict classes. Clustering is unsupervised learning technique where the class level is unknown. And it forms cluster according to the similarity of the data. The so same cluster attributes maintain maximum similarity and different cluster attributes uh, maintain maximum dissimilarity. On the other hand, association rule mining is a process of if-then rules. It is a two-step process, which is uh, finding frequent item sets and then uh, generates rules utilizing that item set. And the strongness of rules can be measured by means of support and confidence. So this is the tree diagram uh, to the distribution of association rule mining research on different domain spaces. Well, uh, negative rules are analyzed in negative association rule mining research. An example of negative rule is if a customer will buy A, then who will not buy B? 
And positive rules are analyzed in positive association rule mining research. An example of positive rule is if a customer will buy A, then he will buy B also. In privacy preserved uh, association rule mining, sensitive rules are hidden so that in case of analyzing purchasing data of two company, one company do not get the profit information about others company. So positive association rule mining technique involve uh, this research area as well. In weighted association rule mining research, words are assigned to each items by domain expert or by defining the functions. Well, rules are generated using weighted support and weighted confidence. Numerical data are analyzed in numerical association rule mining research. In numerical association rule mining, single objective and multi-objective approaches are done based on the purpose of the research. In single objective, single measurement functions is used to evaluate uh, the generated rules, while in multi-objective research, uh, multiple measurement functions are employed to evaluate uh, the generated rules. Clustering has been incorporated in association rule mining to handle high dimensional data. Quantified association rule mining deals with categorical types of data. Classification technique has been uh, integrated in association rule mining to increase the prediction accuracy. In classification and clustering association rule mining, variations of clustering and classification techniques are employed according to the requirements of the research. So these are some background literature search on association rule mining, which are uh, higher cited papers. And the last one is paper from 2020. Well, Made in ITL employed a variation of genetic association rule mining technique, which is called uh, Kanga to discover the hidden relationship among genes. PRCTL proposed a variation of weighted automatic association rule mining technique, which is an extension of valency model technique. While well, valency model is also another variation of weighted association rule mining technique. SAHO ETL utilized semantic concept in association rule mining to get more idea about generated rules. Barrow ETL proposed a guided exploration strategy along with particle swarm optimization technique to extract user given number of strong rules. However, uh, this uh, technique uh, produces empty rules sometimes, which is not valid rules actually. And uh, here, none of the words satisfy all optimized automatic scalability and usability characteristics in association rule mining research. So these are the opportunities or gaps uh, found from the literature search. While most of the research concentrates on reducing computational complexity, very few of them focus on making the association rule mining technique automatic. However, uh, Making the association rule mining technique automatic is important as choosing of threshold value that controls the results. So if loose threshold is chosen, then redundant information is added. And if sharp threshold is chosen, then important information will not appear. So the research works on automatic association rule mining still suffer from the scalability issue and none of the work is validated uh, by the domain experts or with any validation technique. The specific research aims have been carefully identified for this particular project. Firstly, an automatic association rule mining will be developed for health and medical data. The next time is to design a scalable and interpretable method that will satisfy scalability, <clears throat> interpretability characteristics of the model. Then the aim is to develop versatile capable method that can deal with uh, varieties of data types. The next time is to create uh, effective and efficient data mining techniques in terms of convergency. The final aim of this project is to develop an uh, inexpensive and cost effective process in finding important unknown patterns.
We utilize heart disease, diabetes, and breast cancer data from UCI machine learning repository and COVID-19 data from WHO. Well, uh, heart disease data has 11,025 numbers of records, and the data is real and categorical type. And the columns are age of the patient in years, gender of the patient, Mm, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, serum cholesterol in milligram per DL, fasting blood sugar, resting electrocardiographic results, uh, maximum heart rate achieved, exercise induced angina, depression induced by exercise relative to rest, the slope of the peak exercise, number of major vessels colored by fluoroscopy. And diabetes data set contains uh, 768 records with nine columns. And this data set is real and categorical type. And the columns are number of times pregnant, plasma glucose concentration in two hours in oral glucose tolerance test, um, diastolic blood pressure, precept skin fold thickness, two hours serum insulin, body mass index, uh, diabetes pediatric function, patient is in years, and this is outcomes of the patient. That means it is a positive or negative patient. Breast cancer data set contains 286 records with 10 columns, and the values are menopause, tumor size, uh, what is the tumor size, what's the type of the and uh, node caps, degree of malignant, which breast, breast quad, radiate columns, and the COVID-19 data contains 5,481 records with uh, your name, new cases, test done, and testing rate, and the population columns. So this is uh, the sample data sets for the heart disease data, which is utilized in this uh, study. And this is the proposed uh, PSO-based uh, algorithm. The very initial steps of the algorithm is the data acquisition. Next, all the data are not in categorical format. So uh, the numerical type uh, of data transform into a discretized form. Then the data transform into binary transaction format where the row represents the transaction and the column represents the items. After that, we generate search space for performing the optimization by making some low threshold value. To execute the optimization on association rule mining, we utilize some rules as initial population and define their initial velocity and position while we assign the initial velocity of population as zero. And then uh, the rules uh, support and the confidence value as the position. Next, we updated the velocity and position of the population according to the PSO approach. We selected the next stage of population that are close to the current population calculated in that iteration. Next, we measure the fitness value of each particle and uh, then find the local best particle. The iteration would be going until it converts or reach to the maximum number of iteration. However, this algorithm converts very quickly in around 10 to 20 iteration. After getting the best particle, it is utilized as the threshold value to mine the most strong rules. We measure the number of frequent item sets generated for different support value ranges with all four data sets. And that is heart disease, breast cancer, diabetes, and the COVID test data. So here's support in association rule mining that defines how many frequent item sets will be generated to extract rules from that frequent item sets. So you can see from the uh, results that with low range of support, the number of frequent item sets are much higher. And with high support, number of frequent item sets are much lower. In this figure, you can see the relationship between confidence range and the number of tourist rules. So from the figure, it is shown that when we assign high confidence value, it generates less number of rules. And for low confidence value, it generates high number of rules. So as we can experience from the results that support and confidence value influences the number of frequent item sets and rules, that's why it is necessary to decide the best 
threshold value to achieve the most strong rules. In this figure, you can see the relationship between uh, the variation of population size and the execution time for the proposed algorithm. Here, the times are calculated in second unit, and it does not vary much with the changing of population size, which is very much uh, promising results. This figure shows uh, the relationship between uh, number of iteration and execution time for the proposed algorithm. And uh, in this experiment, we set the population size as 10. From the figure, it is uh, shown that with large number of iteration, it does not require much amount of time. So this is the most uh, frequent item set generated with uh, the best threshold value found from the algorithm for the rules with heart disease positive patient. As uh, our algorithm was done for maximizing the optimization function to extract most strong rules, uh, so it produces maximum two degree of frequent item set as shown in the figure. So our algorithm generates valid frequent item set with low cost value. So these uh, are the rules generated from the most strong frequent item set. The confidence value one represents that the rules are most strong rules. So here from the generated rules, it is shown that when the fasting blood sugar value found zero and the thalassemia value has fixed defect type, then the patient has heart disease positive result. This is the most frequent item sets found uh, with the best threshold for the heart disease negative patient. Uh, here also we get two degree of item set. As I mentioned earlier, that uh, we are getting the most strong rules as most of the low degree item set achieved high support values. And this is the rules uh, generated from the most strong frequent item sets for heart disease negative patients. So here from the result, fasting blood sugar value zero and chest pain type zero is related to negative heart disease, according to the Itulal data set. This is uh, the algorithm design for our next work. So in this work, we'll focus on grouping rules of numerical and categorical data type by integrating a uh, 2D grid-based technique and same gram algorithm in our previously present algorithm to get more meaningful and higher order rules. And in this algorithm, uh, initially data will be transformed according to the requirements uh, of the algorithm. Then it transforms again to the transaction format. Rules will be generated with low threshold value. After that, we'll employ 2D grid-based and same gram algorithm to cluster uh, the rules and get the clustered rules. Finally, we will apply PSO optimization technique on the results to get most strong rules and produce noise. In this project, we try to short out the issue of traditional association rule mining technique, which is selecting parameters for generating frequent item sets and rules by employing particle swarm optimization technique. We utilize different medical data sets to validate the proposed algorithm. The proposed algorithm converges very quickly, so it does not require much uh, iteration to get the most strong rules. However, the proposed algorithm is fully automatic, so it needs to cross-validate with a uh, domain expert or any other validation technique. And our next work will be focused to generate more meaningful and higher order rules. Thank you very much, everyone, for your attention. I will come any question and feedback uh, on this work. <laughs>